everyone. It's Mrs. Hoffman again here in the library. And today I'd like to read a book called Leo the Lightning Bug. It is by Eric Drockman and it's illustrated by James Muscarello. Here is the title page. And the dedication page. Leo was a lightning bug. He was a little lightning bug. In fact, he was the littlest lightning bug of all the lightning bugs he knew. He was littler than Larry and Lester. He was even littler than Louise, who wasn't a very big lightning bug herself. Leo, Leo, even my name is small, cried Leo. Oh no, Leo, not at all, explained his mother. The name Leo means lion. Inside, you're as big and brave as a lion. And as she said this, her lightning bug light lit up brightly. But I can't even make a light like Larry or Lester or even Louise. You will, darling, with a little time and practice, you'll light up with a lovely yellow lightning bug light. Leo's mother kissed her little lion, turned on his nightlight and closed his door, but not all the way, of course. I'm no lion, thought Leo, but I guess I'll keep trying. The very next night when the sun went down, Leo found a cozy clearing where he could practice in private. The moonlight twinkled on the treetops of the trees and the sound of crickets filled the warm summer air. Leo took a deep breath in, he let it out, and he went to work. He started off with a little squeeze no light, then a push, no light, and then a big oomph, still no light. Hmm, maybe with a running start, Leo thought, and he flew all the way back to the edge of the clearing. Meanwhile, Larry, Lester, and Louise had discovered Leo's not-so-private practice place. They ducked behind a twig to watch and giggled at little Leo's efforts. Leo had his head down and was flapping his wings as fast as he could. When he reached his absolute top speed, he folded his wings, lifted his feet, and slid on his rear end. He clenched all of his toes on all six of his feet on all six of his legs. He squinched his face and all of his muscles, and he squeezed. But looking down, Leo found nothing, not even a glimmer. He did hear something though. Larry, Lester, and Louise were out in the open now, laughing loudly at Leo's light, or rather at his lack of light. Like almost all people and bugs and fish and animals of every kind, Leo did not like to be laughed at. His knees felt weak, his face felt hot, and he just wanted to disappear. He flew and flew as fast as his wings could go until he finally found a very dark cave where he could hide. Perfect, thought Leo. A lightless lightning bug deserves to be in the dark. He sat there all alone and cried. And then he cried some more. When Leo was finished being sad, he got angry. I'll never make a light, never make a light, never make a light, he yelled. And it echoed inside the cave. Leo sat in silence wondering what to do. Then all of a sudden the cave echoed with a little time, 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 and practice, practice, practice. Practice, remembered Leo. That's what mom said. I have to practice. I have to practice. I have to practice. I have to practice. And he leaped up and flew out of the cave. Leo was so excited he didn't even care about the storm now raging outside. As he got tossed by the wind and splashed by the rain, he kept squeezing and pushing and squinching until finally, crack, the entire sky lit up like daylight and there was a crash, boom, ripping sound. Leo felt his whole little body tremble with the noise. The cricket stopped chirping and hid beneath the grass. Leo, who had never before even made a little lightning bug light, thought he had made that bright light and crashing sound. It was a little scary, but he tried it again, and it was fantastic. First, Leo's light lit up, his very own light, and then there was a bright flash in the sky and a big boom. 
wow, mom was right. Inside, I am as big and brave as a lion. I could be king, 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 king of the lightning bugs. And he danced a king of the lightning bugs dance. <clears throat> when the rain let up and the clouds cleared away, Leo stopped laughing and dancing and headed for home. Larry, Lester, and Louise were waiting for Leo just outside his house. We saw you in the woods, teased Louise, and the three of them burst out laughing. Just then the strangest thing happened to Leo, or actually didn't happen. Leo did not feel angry or embarrassed or scared or anything. He had a lion inside him. Yeah, Leo giggled. I guess I did look pretty funny. Hey, everybody, look at me, I'm Leo, yelled Lester, flapping his wings and running in circles. Suddenly he tripped on one of his other feet and landed face first, right smack in front of Leo himself. When Lester looked up at Leo with a mouthful of dirt, Leo laughed so hard that his whole body shook. Louise and Larry were laughing too, and pretty soon, so was Lester. When they finally settled down, Leo said good night and opened the door to his house. Leo, coughed Lester. Leo, you wanna come play tomorrow? I'd like that, he smiled, and his yellow light lit up in the night. Hey, Leo, squealed Louise. Look, your light. Yeah, Leo smiled proudly. I know, and he went into the house. Later that night, when his mother came to tuck him in, Leo was glowing right through the covers. She smiled to herself and gave him a kiss. I'm so proud of you, she whispered. And Leo said, nothing, for he was already fast asleep. I hope you enjoyed that book as much as I did. And you guys have a great evening. Bye.